Hello, my name is Tim Reese. I'm a saxophonist and I'm playing the alto saxophone virtuoso by R.S. Berkeley. And I'm delighted to play this incredible instrument, uh, alto and the tenor I'm also playing. And um, I'd like to talk a little bit today about um, the setup. Now, there are many different choices of mouthpieces, reeds, and ligatures and I wouldn't tell anyone that they have to play any particular one because that's all personal choice. I'm personally playing a mouthpiece by um, a gentleman named Francois Louis and one of his ligatures as well. Um, but the most important thing is, is that before the sound gets to the saxophone, it first has to go through the reed and the mouthpiece. So you want to make sure that whatever you're using, it's a comfortable mouthpiece, it's not too open, it's not too closed, you're using a reed that's comfortable, shouldn't be too soft or too hard. So just work with your teacher and experiment yourself. I mean, I have many different reeds and mouthpieces at home combinations de depending on the kind of gig I'm doing. But uh, the main thing is comfort and you don't want to have to work too hard because it should still kind of be flowing easily. And uh, also something to consider for me is the placement of your mouth on the mouthpiece. Um, a lot of times I see younger, younger saxophones playing and they take a very small portion of the mouthpiece. So you'll hear something like this. And what happens is two things, is they're not taking enough mouthpiece, and two, is that they're using a little too tight of an embouchure. So what happens is, and really consider this, is that the reed is everything. This is your, this is your sound. It would be though if somebody were choking off your, 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 your throat, if they were doing this you wouldn't be able to talk very well. So you want to make sure that this reed is vibrating. So if you're only taking this much of the mouthpiece, you're going to you're going to only get this much of the reed vibrating. That's why you're going to get this sound. Even if I blow a lot of air, often I hear band directors tell the students, "Please, I want more more volume, more volume. The brass players are back there and they're 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 covering you guys and you have all these saxophones. What's going on?" It's mostly because you're not taking enough mouthpiece. I'll give you an example. If I just take more mouthpiece with the same amount of air, here's with a small amount of mouthpiece, a little bit more, a little more, double and triple the volume with the same amount of air. I'm not even playing that loud. So what happens is, and this can take some adjustment too, just take more mouthpiece, allowing the reed to vibrate, because the more of this reed that vibrates, also you're going to get to the lower part of the reed, which has that sort of so that you're not just getting the high partials of the sound of the saxophone, you're really getting the low end of it, so. If I just take a small amount of mouthpiece, it almost doesn't even play, because the reed is not able to vibrate, especially in the low register. The reed has to be able to vibrate there, because that portion of the reed is what gives the low end of the horn. So, with, with not much effort, I'm, I'm just very relaxed, and with just taking enough mouthpiece makes a huge difference.